So as I'm recording this video, the showcase date has not been revealed by Capcom. We know it's going to happen before the 28th, which is a plus, but I would at least expect an announcement within the next few days. But in today's video, I will be predicting what the showcase has in store for us, and let's get right into it. So the two primary things we got which is confirmed for the showcase is the Village DLC and the Resident Evil 4 Remake. So I just want to cover this and predict what I want to see. For Village, I expect some sort of cutscenes to be played out or someone stating how different the DLC is going to be compared to the original game. We got about 8 minutes of gameplay from IGN and it looked pretty damn good. Maybe we can get an explanation on who this doppelganger of Rose is but I might make a theory video on who this is and on who this Michael character is, but if they decide to reveal that at the showcase, I think it would be pretty dumb, but I don't think Capcom is going to do that because I don't think that's going to be the main course. The main course is going to be RE4 Remake, and that's not up for debate. The only realistic thing we got was a Leon face reveal and him walking, which isn't much gameplay at all. I feel like there will be more gameplay showing the Ganados and seeing another trailer, maybe we can finally see Ada's face and her outfit. Maybe a Krauser or Merchant reveal and showcasing what modes it has in store. Maybe revealing Mercenaries and the heavy demo rumor. It is possible for an October demo reveal, but as for a release, I don't think that's going to be the case since the DLC is coming out on the 28th. Another thing is that Capcom needs to do is to market the hell out of this game because this is their golden boy of Resident Evil games. And I think this showcase will be the perfect opportunity to do so. I expect commercials and heavy promoting, all platforms should get it from next gen and previous gen. I expect them to possibly announce a demo, but I think it could release in maybe December or January. But I'm not a leaker, so I can't confirm that. Now for essentially a wish list that I want to see at the showcase, number one is a Revelations 3 reveal. This game has been heavily rumored to be in development for multiple years and we have not heard a single peep. Apparently it got leaked, but then we heard about the rumors about Resident Evil Outrage that turned out to be cancelled or into some sort of multiplayer RE game, but nothing about some mysterious RE Switch game, but either way, I would love to see a Revelations 3 reveal. I think it could be a really big surprise for the showcase. Number two is a reverse update and marketing with some new gameplay and some new features. They have terribly marketed this game, they have even hyped it up along with the Village DLC. I think there needs to be an update and they need to tell us what's going on with this game. Talking about new features, new maps outside of the RPD, maybe some character models that they're adding into the game, maybe weapons. We don't know, but this could actually potentially be a great game. But this also could be a dead game, especially on how Capcom's marketing ability is for this game. My last thing that I would love to see is an official announcement of development for Resident Evil 9. Maybe they could give us a teaser or something, but it's such a long stretch, I don't think it's happening, but I would love to see it personally. Be sure to comment down below what you guys want to see from the Resident Evil Showcase from the DLC, the remake, or something just completely outside of it. I'm going to be hosting a watch party on the showcase date with a bunch of other RE YouTubers, so it's going to be an exciting day. Come drop by, show some love, show some support to the other RE content creators, and let's just have a fun, chill day. But either way, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like on this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can hit 3,000 by the end of the year. I hope everyone has themselves a good day, a good night, and a good sleep. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and much love.